my name is Olive Waxter. I'm the executive director of the Hippodrome Foundation, and thank you for watching our video today, which is Camp Hippodrome 2021. Camp Hippodrome is something that our, the HFI board was committed to doing to share the resources of the beautiful Franz Merrick Performing Arts Center. We'd like to thank J.P. Morgan Chase, Venable, and bg &E for being such big supporters of Camp Hippodrome, and we hope you enjoy the show. Don't worry, Linda. I'll take great care of your kids. 
I have lots of experience, so now I know exactly what to do when they misbehave. Bye! All right, little brats. I'm the boss here, so you will do everything that I tell you to do exactly when I say it. Now, here are the rules. You don't question, you just do it. Rule number two. Never tell your mom anything that I do. Just tell her that I'm the best babysitter. You wouldn't want me to lose my job, would you? Rule number three. You eat what I make or you don't eat at all. Rule number four. If I have company, you go to the basement and do not talk to them. Rule number five. If I make a mess, you clean it, not the other way around, because I'm the guest. And rule number six, no crying aloud. All right, those are the rules. Go have fun, little brats. clutch thing. I have thee not, and yet I see thee still. Art thou not fatal vision sensible to feeling as to sight? Or art thou but a dagger of the mind, a false creation proceeding from the heat oppressive brain? 
I see the yet in the form as palpable as this, which now I draw. <sighs> Thou marshalest me the way that I was going in such an instrument I was to use. Mine eyes are made the fools owe oh, the other senses or else worth all the rest. I see thee still, and on thy bladed dudgeon gouts of blood, which was not so before. There's no such thing. It is the bloody business which informs thus to mine eyes. Thou sure and firm setter, Hear not my steps, which way they walk, for fear thy very stone prate of my whereabout and take the present horror from the time which now suits with it. <sighs> Why else I threat he lives? Words to the heat of deeds to cold breath gives. I go and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven or to hell. Hi, my name is Barb Worzing, and I'm the Education Director with the Hippodrome Foundation. HFI is happy to have provided instruction virtually for these fabulous campers. I'm pleased to report that during the pandemic, we were able to pivot and provide virtual programs for over 12,000 students of all ages. But I can tell you this, nothing compares to welcoming people into the beautiful Hippodrome Theater at the France Merrick Performing Arts Center. And we are so looking forward to seeing you all come back in the coming months. But now I'd like to introduce to you our fabulous Camp Hippodrome staff. Hi, my name is Becky Mossing. I'm co-director of Camp Hippodrome and this week's focal technique teacher. Hi, I'm Caitlin Bell, Camp Hippodrome co-director and monologues teacher. Hello everyone, my name is Sterling Gray. I'm the music director of Camp Hippodrome and also the instructor for the vocal performance class here during our week camp. Hi, my name is Marquia Nicole Smith and I am the resident choreographer at Panthe Hi everyone, my name is Jordan Gillespie and I teach the theater game slash improv class. Hi, my name is Destiny and I worked with campers during the morning welcome and at vocal performance with Sterls. Hi, my name is Jules Einhorn and I am the co-leader of theater games. Hey guys, my name is Imani and I will be your monologue teacher this week. And now, back to the show. Just fight. 
have to be such a loser to me all the time. I, I mean, you literally treat me like dirt. It's like, it's like we're not even sisters. And you're, you're always so mean to me and, and you never want to hang out. When your friends come over, you always tell me to leave, but it's my house too, and I don't have to leave just because you tell me to. I wish, I wish you're never there for me as a friend, let alone a sister. And, and I hope one day you stop trying to be so cool and start treating me like someone you actually care about in your life. Because nothing would be cooler than that to me, just so you know. Oh, oh, oh. 
You gotta be kidding me. You don't watch TV? You heard about the pigs, right? Well, what they're saying about me is fake news. The name's Wolf. You know, Trevor Wolf. Let me tell you the truth about this whole three little pigs thing. So I walk up to the first little porpoise house to welcome them to the neighborhood. It's not my fault that I breathe in and his blasted straw hut falls over. It was made out of gosh darn it. How does it not fall over? Fine, go to jail, get the t-shirt. Next corner's house. This one's made of wood, but those sure ain't two black boys I'm looking at. Whoosh, crash, clang. The result, more time. I mean, these houses weren't even up to building code. How am I the one being sent to jail here? <sighs> anyway, the third swine's house looked at least legal, but then I knocked on the door and a dragon pops out. That's sure ain't legal. As I was running away, I knocked over a flower pot and I may have climbed up onto the roof, but that's only because that dragon inside didn't fire everywhere. Wait, don't even get me started with the trial. I never assaulted or harassed anyone. If anything, that dragon assaulted and harassed me. Uh, I mean, and that jury. Do, if that jury was impartial, I'll eat my tail. 15 years in the can, just for trying to say hello. Wait, no, uh, it was 17 years, because I got two just for stepping on that flower pot. Well, that's my story. What are you in for? Oh, you're, you're that guy? Yeah, you didn't eat the granny either. You know, that, that little red riding hood sure looks like a liar to me. We're all innocent, I tell you. All innocent. <laughs> because his mother. Because I love him. I know I left my son and that that's a terrible thing to do. Believe me, I have to live with that every day for the rest of my life. But in order to leave him, I had to believe that that was the only thing I could do. That was the best thing for him. I was incapable of functioning in that home and I didn't know what the alternative was going to be. So I thought it not best to take my son with me. However, I've since gotten some help and I've worked very, very hard my whole human being and I don't think I should be punished for that. I don't think my little boy should be punished. Billy is only seven years old. He needs me. I'm not saying he doesn't need his father, but I really do believe he needs me more. And Billy's mommy for five and a half years. And Ted took over that role for it. 18 months, but I don't know how anybody could believe I have less of a stake in mothering that little boy than Mr. Kramer does. I'm his mother. I'm his mother. 